Around the little park, the lamps blink on and make the dusk seem deeper. I saunter towards them on the grass that suddenly rustles from the dew, hitting behind at times a fragmentary shout or distant bark. I am alone like a patrolling keeper, and then I catch the smell of limes coming and going faintly on the dark. Bunched black at equal height, they stand between the lamps, yet where they branch out towards them on each side. A few touching the lighted glass, their leaves are soft green on the night, the closest losing even their mass, edged but transparent as if they too gave light. The street is full, the quiet is broken. I notice that the other strollers there extend themselves at ease as if just woken to a world they have not yet recovered. Though they move across the dusk alert and stare as I do, into shops or at the trees devouring each detail from leaf to dirt. In the measured mildness of the air, here by the curb the boys and girls walk, jostling as they grow cocky with surplus strength and weakening with each move the old, cushioned with papers or with rugs, on public seats close by, inch down into their loosened flesh, each fold being sensible of the gravity which tugs and longs to bring it down and break its hold. I walk between the curb and bench, conscious at length of sharing through each sense as if the light revealed us all, sustained in delicate difference yet firmly growing from a single branch. If that were all of it, the branch that we grow on is not remembered easily in the dark, or the transparency when light is gone, at most a recollection in the mind only, over a rain-swept park held to by mere conviction, in cold and misery when the clock strikes one. The lamp still shines, the pale leaves shift a bit, now light, now shadowed, and their movement shared a second later by the bough. Even by the sap that runs through it, a small fool trembling through it now, as if each leaf were so better prepared for falling sooner or later separate.